Well, I got some in, uh, inside info on the truckers because they made honking illegal, and that included honking titties. But boo. boo! Apparently, this. So I got some inside info. So uh, some some people I know that were at the thing that are kind of like know the organizers or whatever just like hit me up and they were like, "Oh, do you want us on the podcast and stuff?" And I was like, "I don't. We don't really do um, zooms anymore." Y- yeah, yeah. But the uh, he kind of said the first thing was in his opinion. The honking illegal thing was kind of overblown. That didn't really happen. It was like kind of a temporary ban, and mm. it hasn't really stuck. Um, well, no, I heard it has stuck because they said they banned it. It's on one ten- street, but and it's it, also between yeah. certain hours. Well, this is a guy who's you know pro trucker or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. but he says he says in reality that's not that crazy. But one thing that he did say is the truckers have these like big plans. So truckers not only are they hey we could be here for the next forty five years. Yeah, apparently. They're taking. They want to take the con. They want to expand the convoy to go to airports and. Well, they're uh, dude. They blocked the Ambassador Bridge going from Detroit to Windsor two yeah. days ago, and it's like literally you can't uh, for car like freight traffic. You can't move. Uh through there so you have to go like around to like sarnia it's like five hours now into- and this is the idea apparently this is what he's saying that the they've you, got all these the truckers have their big plans oh, they're, they're, yeah and the thing too is they made uh it illegal to like, bring them food or fuel yeah i was like they need really? fuel and then all these guys were like all right we're gonna let everybody go grab your empty fuel cans let's go fucking walk around down there because like now the cops are going to be walking up to me like see what's in the fuel can and they're mostly going to be empty or have juice in them it's, or something. And it's like, sort of like um, when you're trying to disguise yourself and to uh, do something bad at a bar and then you hire 10,000 of your friends to dress yeah, up like yeah, you and yeah, wear Santa the same Con? Yeah, Just go rape <laughs> yeah. as oh, in Santa Con? It's a yeah. Santa Con yeah, situation, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it also seems to be, I was pretty cynical about it, but it seems to be working. Cause that's what you said. Literally yeah. two provinces in the last, like since yesterday have said that Saskatchewan and I believe Alberta, although I don't know. Also how Alberta, much are, but they're like, we're getting rid of all of our mass stuff. How much are cops really enforcing any of these? New they're not, things? they're not. Yeah. Because they're because just like, they're I don't want to on board fu- with it. A lot of them, are most like, of them, but some of them are still, you know, they're are getting instructed to go do it, but it is a weird yeah. thing. And then Trudeau even come out and you could see that his tone out from changed. where I thought we didn't know where he was on uh, the was closet. In, he was and in he, Tofino. his tones yeah. changed. He kind of, came out and he was like in the most recent oh, now he's doing the voice too not just the paint well he's yeah out, yeah yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah, yeah his yeah. tones really changed <laughs> he came out and he's doing the black voice <laughs> and he basically said he goes um you know anyone uh we're, we're all in this together. And he, he went from his original speech was like, truckers are all racist. Yeah, They're in the KKK. There's only one race, the human race. That's what he says now. Now he said that his original thing was, even if you've touched a truck, you're racist. Even if you've graffitied on the, even if you've written your name on the trucks, the filth. In dirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, you're a racist. Wash me, that's racist. Wash me, that's racist. So he was saying now, he kind of came out and he was like, listen, guys, come on, come man. On, come on, man. Come on, man. He kind of said, you know, these mandates are for your own good, man. Yeah, he goes, if we, we'll have more mandates if we keep this up, which is not That's what he, yeah. So this, he oh, basically. That, that was a bad, that's a bad choice of words. Would you, totally. Yeah. You know those mandates you guys aren't paying attention to? You're lucky uh, we don't even have yeah. more. Yeah. yeah. That's a double secret probation in Animal House. <laughs> 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 he goes, and then the articles writing about it are pretty funny. They, uh, Danny sent me a, a fucking person <laughs> there in in Ottawa. They're saying that people feel unsafe walking around truckers because there's such you know transphobes or whatever. Mm. And then they started a a service where people are chaperoning people that have to walk by the truckers to go to the store. So the like, the before <laughs> trans acceptance, the only cocks that trans women could suck were truckers. Yeah, oh, yeah. let's not let's not yeah, even yeah, yeah. pretend otherwise. That's a, that's a very good point. If anybody's the most accepting of the trans community, yeah, yeah. it is the truck. Well, except for the truckers that became serial killers of trans people. That's true. But uh, no, the crazy. That's seen, only because they wanted to wear their skin. They that, loved them so much. That is a good. There point. was a good run of serial killers being. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, another thing is like the media. I don't know if you've seen this, but like a number of different media people in Canada and like Ottawa have been like, it's no longer safe to be a journalist. Like someone on like CTV was like, I do this. Like I have to pull my like you know the their. As if it's the they, Taliban. trucks or whatever, they're like, we have to take our logo off the truck because I don't feel safe yeah. anymore. And you're like, first off, you're not unsafe. The whole level of unsafety is like a media person shows up at the thing being like wanting to report and everybody's like, this person's a media, don't tell them shit. Yeah, yeah. Like this person's a lying scumbag and then they're lit, but they are literally lying scumbags. You're, you showed up at their thing to mess with them. Yeah, but- 
exactly. To yeah, like that's like me showing about up what's going fucking on. Vice magazine uh, with my yeah. stick bike doing a piece, and then they're like, "Get off!" And I go, "Oh, yeah. oh I am being, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm being silent. Safe. Yeah, and you go, obviously, they don't want you here. But like the dissonance with the media people, because everybody's like, "Yeah, these people are liars," and they're like, work for CBC, and they're like. We're not liars. We're arbiters of the truth. What do you mean? We would <laughs> never lie. And everybody's like, you're lying scumbags. And they were, they can't like accept the fact that they are that. So then they're like, we're, it's unsafe to be a journalist now. Media is really And it's happy. not unsafe, by the way. Like nobody, has, nobody has been their safety threatened other than they go to places and people are just like, shame, you're <laughs> shame on you. They're getting cop treatment. Yeah, they're yeah. getting cop treatment. But they they're are like cops of the internet. Yeah, they are. They're fucking. You are, they are cops of like. They're discourse cops. They're yeah. discourse. Yeah, so the media is discourse cops. And then, yeah, they're getting the same treatment where they go, every time you guys show up, you ruin, mm -hmm. you, you know, you're, you're here to do a profile on one of us that's going to fucking get yeah. us fired. Yeah, like that's, exactly. your, that's what you're here for. But also like. And to lie about us. Yeah, to lie. And like, again, I know you think you're telling the truth, but we know you're lying. You're going to see so. a guy peeing on something and be like, look at these men exposing themselves. That's what you're here There's for. There's children yeah. around. Yeah. I mean, it's just the, it's the, you know, what's changed in journalism is a lot of those people, when they got into journalism, nobody was like using fake news or anything that term and now people are just more aware of this stuff and they're like yeah you guys are a bunch of lying scumbags get the fuck out of here yeah, yeah. and they're like you don't talk to me like that i'm a journalist someone on the internet said that uh uh misinformation is just the the left-wing term for fake news yeah because trump was like <laughs> fake news and they say misinformation yeah because they always they, they always have to make things uh, harmful well i thought that was like one of trump's biggest power plays like they started the fake news thing the fake news thing was and then trump was just like like they did it about really? the Russian dis oh disinformation. yeah and then Trump was just like, oh, this term exists? I'll just start calling the Times <laughs> yeah, fake yeah. news. And then boom, president. Thought, oh, really? I thought he made fake news. Out. No, dude. They were using that. That was like, it was like a very vague concept that was just starting to bubble up. It seems up. like such a dumb term that only Trump would even use that term. Like, like it doesn't no. seem like the media would be like calling stuff fake news. They, well, because they, they would, well, they think we're all so stupid. We can't understand right, a term so like misinformation. Yeah, in their mind, you're dumb. And yeah. in reality, it's you are and me and Chris are smart. Yeah. Woo! And then Woo! they then they said uh, this is the last thing they said because they're making harmful. They said while Canadians have the right to protest, he said the noise from the horns could potentially cause long term hearing damage to residents. Oh. So this is where they're at. By the way, if I, 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 I <laughs> totally like all sympathize. The, if I live there, of course, it'd be a nightmare. Yeah, but this is like all yeah. the white people that moved to fucking New York City that are like fucking hipsters from Maine complaining about the fireworks when everything was shut down in the hood. It's like, all right, first of all, you shouldn't move to Brownsville. It used to be gunshots. You fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> like we like yeah there's gonna be fireworks we shut down every place like you know right. what i mean like and they're like yeah people are gonna shoot off everybody just drove to pennsylvania and spent a fucking grip of coke money on fucking fireworks <laughs> and that's what happened that's yeah yeah <laughs> but it would be a nightmare if you lived in ottawa and then obviously your no, entire the, life if you were no, the worst would be if you lived there but you were also like a did, didn't give a shit about politics like, exactly you live there but you're also just like what is it? What I don't care. Because if you did, you could at least like, get fired up. Yeah, what? Like, like when people are like, "Yeah, well, AOC said the protesting should be uncomfortable," and you're like, "Who the fuck is AOC?" <laughs> I don't know who AOC is. I like the senators. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. hockey and fucking beer, and I live in downtown Ottawa. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> it's what man, what man is? is? You got to be vaccinated for what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just, just like, don't even know. Yeah, yeah. They like don't even know what is the <laughs> Yeah, like they're like, I just go to the one bar I go to. They don't care about shit. But yeah, they they're, they went from, you know, there's a, a bunch of Nazi racists to having to be like, it's not going to be good for the residents' ears. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're sort of running thin on their... Yeah, yeah they're, they're... But it's kind of a... Things that aren't honestly, working. like you said, it's like, it's great. And like people all around the world are seeing... I was watching news reports from India where they were talking about, like, they don't know where Justin Trudeau is because he's hiding from these really? people who are nonviolent protesters. Yeah. yeah, it's like fucking crazy. And he made a big mistake by just ignoring it, thinking it would go away. Yeah. And now they're like trying to say they're going to be starting arresting everybody for just being there. And like, they're going to impound their vehicles. You can't arrest... 10,000 people. Fuck no. Yeah. Not only that, but like, again, the cops, like this was a common issue with cops everywhere when they had these vaccine mandates where every police department was like, yeah, half of us don't want to be forced to yeah. 
vaccinated and you know well most of them didn't want to enforce covid restrictions and they're all generally blue collar people and they're like more sympathetic with these people than fucking like well that's government well that's the thing with cops with covid restrictions they're like wait a second we got to treat white people this way get the fuck (laughs) out of here yeah yeah yeah. and also it's a provincial issue it's not a federal (laughs) issue it's a provincial thing so it's like it's basically like doug ford has to fix this because it's not a federal matter it just happens to be in the capital so fellas fellas thank you for watching that clip now if you want to support this podcast an easy way to do it is patreon.com slash the boys cast there's a new episode every week only five bones and we got tons of episodes there already so support the dogs support the dogs i've been bowing yang